and welcome. This is Melissa Armo, the stocks. What should I thought I would review so far to date? The 2019 year to date advanced trader tracking, 49,560. So if you'd like any questions or any more information, you can email me at melissa at the or call me at 929 3200 GAT. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So GME was a really nice short, a really nice gap that happened back here at the end of January. Stock closed here, gap down, dropped, could have shorted this right out of the gate, been done, which is what we did, or you could have done a second trade. Anyways, long story short, some of these gaps have multiple moves. What I do is gaps. Just so you know, if you've never heard of me before, I only focus on one strategy. It's called the golden gap. Don't do anything else. Right now it's earnings season. This is a great time to trade, whether you're doing day trades, options, swing trades even. Uh, you get big moves, volatile moves in the market and stocks during earnings season. So it's a, it's a very profitable time to trade. So this year, um, I actually was sick most of the month of January, but uh, we're, we're lucky here that it ended up being a very good month despite the fact that I was sick so many days. Um, off of the beginning of the year, spy loser, spy winner, closed in here when I was sick. Lulu was a winner. Netflix was a winner. SIG was a loser. Second and third trade in SIG were winners. AXP was a loser. QQQ was a winner on the 18th. Market closed on 21st. SWK was a nice one. Good winner. COF was a winner. MKC loser. Q's winner. Starbucks winner on the 25th. Starbucks was actually a better option. Uh, CAT was a winner. GME winner. And then on the 30th, T, first trade loser, second one winner. Q's first trade loser, second one winner. SPY was a winner. X winner, Q's winner. Verizon was a loser on the 31st. Then January, I mean, it was over. February started. Again, still earning season. No trades in the first, the fourth, off in the fifth. EA was a loser. Twitter was a really nice guy. And then CARB, first trade loser, second trade winner. No trades in the 11th. UAA, loser. Guild winner, SPY winner. Tiva loser, spy loser, second trade winner. NTAP just did not work out at all. Both ones losers. MGM was a winner. Cisco was a loser. This was on the 14th. And spy winner on the 15th. So 49,560. Uh, what's an advanced trader risk? These are advanced trader results. Anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000. So uh, when you're starting out, I say start out with what you can afford. If a beginner is a beginner, you can afford to risk $100 a trade, and that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Then do that, okay? It's all about taking care of yourself, doing what you need to do to move forward in your own life, creating the financial freedom that you yourself desire. So I teach a class. It's called the Golden Gap Course, usually about once a month or thereabout. Class for February is February 23rd and 24th, 9 to 5 Eastern Time. Cost of the class tuition is $59.99 US dollars. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. You must sign up early to secure your spot. Um, so you could sign up for both the trends and the Golden Gap together and save because I'm doing Saturday, Sunday, Monday. You save $500. You would learn trends for the long term trends. The Golden Gap, you'd get it all. Two classes for one price. If you'd like to sign up, deadline is February 22nd, and you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.